Welcome everybody to the Pasta Queen Kitchen. I'm here with my brother, Pasta Bro. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so that the moment a recipe comes out, you'll be notified. Today, we are making a recipe that is super, super dear to our heart. It's from my latest cookbook, The Pasta Queen, a just gorgeous cookbook. We are making orecchiette with broccoli rab and sausage. I wanna, I, I wanna talk about this recipe because really, if you know about broccoli rab, it is one of the green that are most loved in the south of Italy. Our family is from the region of Campania, so growing up there was always little fairs that celebrated this very vegetable. It was incredible. I wanna give you a little bit of a background anecdote on this. If there's a vegetable I cannot and will not live without, it has to be broccoli rab. It was a yearly tradition to celebrate this green wonder at a sagra, which is really a local festival near Naples. When I was a kid, when we were kids, we would eagerly await for this fair, as it meant there would be endless fried broccoli <laughs> rab available. Walking around town, holding a panino with sausage and broccoli rab was as delightful and exciting to me as going on the merry-go-rounds or roller coaster rides that flooded the Sagra, which is like a little festival. Needless to say, when my Pugliese stepmother Angela introduced us to this dish, it quickly became one of my favorites. So let's make it right now. I'm gonna show you how simple it is and delightful and delicious and gorgeous. No, don't. <laughs> let's get right into it. Ingredients. Today we're making it straight out of the recipe in my cookbook, which is just simple like this. Sausage, broccoli rab, and garlic with chili peppers and extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of white wine, and you're good to go. Okay, I go one large garlic clove or two small garlic cloves. I happen to have one. Yes, he always has one in his pocket, huh? <laughs> uh, it's a vampire thing. Okay, so this one is a giant garlic clove. You want a really nice essence of garlic in this recipe. Don't go skimping on the garlic. This is an essential aromas for this recipe. Finely minced the garlic because we want it to almost melt inside the recipe. We add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Someone dared challenge me on social saying that you don't cook with extra virgin olive oil and that it's incorrect to cook with extra virgin olive oil. Buddy, I don't know who gave you that information, but extra virgin olive oil is used all over the Mediterranean. It's good for the skin, it's good for the hair, it's good for the soul. Did you know? that extra virgin olive oil has a really high smoking point. I'm not gonna go and say any more about this because we're doing and sticking to this recipe, right? Absolutely. Okay, go and drink some. Of course. We're gonna make this spicy between the extra virgin olive oil and the spice. All that beauty of the Mediterranean olives plus the Calabrian chili peppers, which we ordered on Etsy of all places. <laughs> we hope they're Calabrian. <laughs> they are dried and we are finally chopping them, putting them in with all of their seeds because we want it to be extra. Just like you are. Bing. We finally chopped two chili peppers and now they're all going in with the garlic and extra virgin olive oil. I wanna give you a little trick, right? In the cookbook, we say to blanch, kind of, quickly boil for two minutes the broccoli rub into hot boiling water and then put it back in. In this case, I'm gonna show you a little shortcut. We are putting the broccoli rub straight into this olive oil base infusion with chili peppers and everything and just adding a splash no, of water. No, no, no. Believe me, okay, believe okay. me. See, he's already firing me on this. <laughs> I like to keep the really soft part. So I'm gonna show you, like for example here, right? You've got this big one. Take it out, cut it off, put it in. Put all the leaves, the little blossoming flowers. You see what I'm saying? This, you're not gonna be cooking this, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. You don't want it in your pasta, you're chewing on it. You take the leaves off, you put them in. You see, I'm ripping them by hand. I'm making kind of even breaks along this leaf. They're going in, toss them about, add a splash of hot water, a pinch of salt, 
and cover them for five minutes. The orecchiette go in, and while they're cooking, we're gonna finish off the broccoletti with the sausage, and then tossing everything together to emulsify the dish. Pasta water is boiling. This is the time you wanna salt your pasta, like a seasoned soup, not like the Mediterranean Sea. It's still boiling, it's time for the orecchiette pasta to go in. Look how beautiful they are. Okay, you see how simple it is. We moved this aside and we're using the juices of the broccoletti, the garlic, the chili pepper to cook the sausage in. All you're gonna do is make a clear, neat cut in the sausage and really like gently open it up and the sausage kind of detaches and goes in. Now it's time to add a tiny bit of white wine. Now you see the white wine, the sausage, Everything is cooking, but now both elements are kind of infusing into one another and taking each other's flavors. From start to end, this is a 20 minute process. The pasta is literally about to fall in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Man. One minute away from getting tossed, going in al dente. Just absorb all of the flavors, all join in. You add a little bit of the tears of the gods, and look at this. It's just gorgeous. Pasta is extra al dente. It goes in for those last two minutes of cooking. And now we toss it about. We add half a ladle full of tears of the gods, the pasta water, the magic of the starches. We put it on a medium flame. We toss it, we emulsify. We're creating that. I'm so excited! Let's plate this godly dish. Look at this. Mamma mia, tiè, metteci questa pezza. Little bit of chilies for garnish, for impression, to prepare the guest to the spiciness of the dish. Look at this. No, you're not gonna eat it. Don't start even looking. You have to look test, I'm just saying. Look, Ago, it is the time. The time you've been waiting for, for, for the last... Half, half, half an hour. Dai, tiè, assaggia. Tell me if we did indeed outdid ourselves. You see how that rhymes? Again. Huh? Again, we did it. We did it again. Subscribe, notify, ring the bell. Uh -huh. Okay, please leave a comment. Let me know if you tried it, how it came out. And leave a comment down below, what's the next recipe you want me to cook out of my cookbook? Remember, the Pasta Queen, a just gorgeous cookbook, is out everywhere where books are sold. You can get it, I also put a link down in the description below. As always, see you next time. You're gorgeous. Bye!